beautiful people and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to your favorite girl on the internet that's me by the way if you're new here my name is jasmine rosette and today's video is going to be a realistic what i eat in a day not that any of my f videos showing me what i'm eating is not realistic it is exactly what i have but today i'm going to show you every single thing that i eat that i drink and yeah i'm really excited but before we get into this video, I would ask that you would give this video a thumbs up. If you like any part of this video, subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all things that I am doing and comment down below, say hi, I say hi back. And without any further ado, let's get into this realistic what I eat in a day. All right, so first things first, today I'm having brunch at my friend's house and so I made vegan beignets vegan bonnets. I made vegan beignets last night <laughs> because they take a really long time to rise and prove and all that stuff. Like the first one was like 90 minutes for it to like double in size and the second one was 45 minutes once everything was like folded. So it like it, it just took a lot of time. I taste tested one last night and it was really good. So I have them all in a container. What I need to do this morning though is go to the grocery store, buy a brown paper bag so I can put the confectionate sugar inside and then just like shake it, the beignets in the bag once it's warmed up again. So it's just like an easier way to cover them. But yeah, they came out decent, I would say. They came out pretty good. We'll only know for sure when everybody else tastes them. So wish me luck but it is about 9 30 i am going to go to starbucks and get a latte this morning i don't really need the caffeine but you know i just want to treat myself on a saturday i just want to i just want to have the food you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna go to starbucks now i'm gonna grab a latte i'll show you what that looks like and then i'm gonna head over to my friend's house and we can have these vegan bonnets, okay? The Vajan bonnets. Vajan? Is that bad? I don't know. Also, I'm going for a very natural look today. It's a no makeup makeup look. I literally just have like cream highlighter on and then I just did the Charlotte Tilbury powder on the center of my face with some, a little bit of eyebrow product and mascara. And this is the face. Like my skin's been looking really, really good. Minus this little bump right here and this one, but you know, whatever, we move. So I got, it's the iced sh brown sugar oat milk shaken espresso drink, except I didn't get three shots. I asked for one shot because I have a caffeine sensitivity and I don't want to die. <laughs> and there's Mel. <laughs> Ooh, got the whole video set up. Yes. Sorry. So I just got home from brunch at my friend's place. I, along with these two <laughs> beignets that I'm about to show you, Right here, I'm putting, I put some honey on them because I didn't think about that when I was there, but uh, my friend's fiance came home and he like put a honey on the beignet and he was like, these are really good. Also, I never know if an item that I baked is good until someone else tries it because to me, I can tell when something's off about something and I'm like, okay, I would never serve this to anybody. But if I'm like, oh, this is good. I never know if it's really good or not until someone else tries it. And then I'm like, okay, then it actually is good. Mm. <laughs> mm. But yeah, these two make seven beignets that I've had. I mean, it's homemade, so. I know everything that went into this and it's vegan. You 
because I made the buttermilk myself. But yeah, I made the buttermilk myself because my grocery store that's by my house, they had buttermilk, but it was in powdered form. And I was just like, I don't know about that. And you can just make buttermilk with one cup of really thick plant-based milk. So I got the extra creamy oat milk by Silk. And I added a tablespoon, I believe. It's either a tablespoon or a teaspoon, but I think it was a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar to it. Warmed it up so it could kind of curdle a little bit. And then I added like my sugar and... Uh, dry yeast to it so that my act dry yeast can activate and then I put it with all like the dough and stuff but yeah I didn't this doesn't have like a lot of sugar because you have like the powdered sugar that goes on top and then if you want to do that with honey you can but the bread itself is not super sweet even though my friends did say it tasted as though that there was honey in it and we had it without honey earlier which I forgot that you can have beignets with honey. But yeah, I had avocado on toast with bacon and egg and sriracha. I just had that one that you saw. But the beignets, I'm working on my seventh one after I finish this one. But I think I want katsu curry. Pork katsu curry or shrimp but crawfish style like crawfish boil but instead of crawfish i get shrimp because i just really like shrimp and i would get that with sourdough bread but then that's a lot of bread that i've had but if i get pork katsu curry that is a lot of carbs which is not a bad thing i just know for myself because like this beignet is not super sweet i don't feel like nauseous or anything but for me, it's very important that I have vegetables every single day. Like a leafy green and a protein. And so I'm just trying to think through, is pork katsu curry the right thing for me to do? Because I know I'm not going to feel good unless I have like vegetables in there. Because I'll have a protein regardless and then I'll feel great. Um, and I've had a little bit of protein today so far. I've had couple slices of bacon oh yeah that's another thing I didn't show it came with a slice of bacon for the avocado toast that we had but then I had two more slices of bacon after that but and then eggs are also protein so like there's protein there and had a healthy fat but I'm also just trying to think of like leafy greens like my body just thrives I function better when I have green vegetables in my diet like not just green but just like vegetables in general i thrive best so i'm trying to think through that although the pork katsu curry does have carrots in it i think i'm gonna do the pork katsu curry so i'll probably do i might pick it up because it's always cheaper to pick it up if you do it on doordash or grubhub it's just cheaper But we'll see how I'm feeling. I, oh, it's like about to be three o'clock too. So it's pretty late. So I should probably decide this soon because I don't like to eat my dinners too late. But yeah, I'm going to watch the recent season, the recent, uh, not season, the recent episode of Loki on Disney Plus on my computer because... I didn't sign up on our TV and I just don't want to figure it out right now. I'm super lazy. Also, I kind of want to go to Whole Foods and get like this banana pie, but I'm afraid it's going to have fake banana taste because I don't like things that taste like fake banana. If something tastes like banana, I want it to be real because fake banana tasting stuff like candies, when they have that fake flavor, I'm just like, that does not taste good at all. So. I have some decisions to make, but I have time. I have time. And you'll see what I eat shortly. So I just picked up my junior katsu bowl with brown rice and vegetables and an egg roll. And now I'm heading home. I was 
was going to get um, ice cream, but because I've had beignets and I'm just wanting something sweet, I really should just stick with the beignets. Like if I really do want something sweet again, just have more beignets at home. So I was like, if I get that ice cream, if I get a pint, I just, it's going to be a lot of sweets and I really should just like not have as many sweets <laughs> because when I have a lot of sweets, I get nauseous, but you know, sometimes my cravings went over the initial thoughts of my nausea, but I guess this is just all parts of being an adult. Like you have to think about like how it's going to affect your body. Like, I totally understand now when parents say, like, you can't have too many sweets because truly when you get older, your body does not process them as they used to because it can't handle that much sugar. And even when you're a kid, like, your body can't process that much sugar because your body starts to go into overdrive. And it's just not good. It's like, it goes into overdrive in like a negative way when you're a kid because you're like, I have so much energy, I can do all the things. But then when you're an adult, it's just like overdrive because you're nauseous. <laughs> and you're just like, I need to, like you're gonna crash actually. Like kids do crash with a lot of sugar, but I feel like as an adult, it just hits you different. Like as you get older. Not saying that as soon as you become an adult, like when you turn 18, it's gonna hit you. I feel like because I'm getting into my 30s, I'm just like, yeah, sugar takes a toll on my body. But anyways, I'm going to head home now and I'll show you the food once I'm inside. So I got an egg roll, just one, have like the soy sauce, and then I have the chicken katsu Where's the curry sauce? Is it in here? Oh. Okay, so I guess that one, this sauce is for the egg roll and then this is like, yeah, it's definitely thicker. It's like the curry sauce that goes on here for the chicken katsu curry or chicken, yeah. I didn't get the pork one because I normally go to a different place, but I went here and I got the junior bowl and it has some vegetables in there. Um, I thought on the, on DoorDash it like showed like broccoli, but oh, I see a broccoli. <laughs> but yeah, this is what I got. So I'm gonna pour this sauce on here and then have it with my egg roll and watch Loki. So I was just thinking of like, oh, what can I eat? Cause I wanna eat something. That bowl was really shallow, like it wasn't deep at all. And so I am, I'm not hungry, but I'm also not full. Does that make sense? But I have these popcorners and I have the kettle corn. It's a sweet and salty. Popcorners, honestly, if you have not tried popcorners, you should. They have sea salt, they have kettle corn. I like the sea salt and kettle corn one. They have sour cream and onion, and they also have uh, cheddar cheese or white cheddar cheese. I would say I can't do the cheese one. I can't do the sour cream and onion because it's like milk and stuff. But these are really good, and it's like clean, simple ingredients. Like literally it says, only four ingredients. What is in these are yellow corn, sunflower oil, cane sugar, and sea salt. So I am going to finish watching the episode. Loki, so I took a break. I got distracted on my phone, and I watched RuPaul's Drag Race, like compilation of the library is open, Min uh, mini reading challenge. And I was just thinking about like reality TV shows and how some people on reality TV show might be 
shown as like the villain and then because they are shown as the villain or they're showing these like quote unquote like toxic unhealthy characteristics or behaviors they get like hate comments and like death threats and all these other things online and I'm just like I feel like people should have a healthier boundary with reality TV especially because I feel like people forget they're real people also I personally do not have the courage to send out a hate comment and be like yada 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 because it's just like if you're commenting saying someone is a monster like is it really nice to say that to them like just because someone else is saying something that is mean does it validate you saying a mean thing to them as well like does it make it cancel out i don't think so it shows that like you also have the capability of saying negative things and like being mean as well and quote unquote you're calling them a monster while kind of being a monster yourself like you should look into your own life before looking into other people's and i think where i'm getting at with that is at the end of the day you don't personally know these people who are on reality tv because i was watching like the video with fifi o'hara and how she was just like yeah after my season while well, she was on all stars she was like yeah after my season i got like some death threats and i got hate stuff and i just didn't feel safe and it made me want to quit drag and it's just like all the way because of how she acted on her original season on RuPaul's Drag Race. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to confirm or deny how Fifi O'Hara act because I think they know themselves how they acted and how they treated people and the proof is in the pudding of what they did. But at the same time, there is merit in that things are edited a certain way with reality TV. And with reality TV, there's so much footage that gets filmed and they cut down so much and edit it to show a lot of the drama because that is what sells with reality TV. Reality TV is successful because of the dramas. It's not successful because you see someone being having a good day all the time or not going through any trials or tribulations with their friends or family. Reality TV is successful because of the drama, which drama has negative connotations because it's focused on a negative act that is happening, and that gets like woven through, you know, the series of reality TV across the board, not just RuPaul's Drag Race, but like reality, um, like The Housewives or like the couple shows that have been coming out, like Love Island or Too Hot to Handle, or um, you know, there's just so much that is filmed that we don't see but we only see like a very small snippet over a period of time like drag race is probably filmed over several months but we're only shown an hour of an entire week that happens an entire week um i believe it's an entire week that like they film at a time so it's like if there's 12 weeks like, if there's 12 episodes, they're filming it over 12 weeks because it's just, like, you know, you're filming from morning to night of just, like, everything. The the drag queens, like, making their garments to them putting on makeup. And that process takes several hours. A long, long time. And so, of course, like, there's going to be parts of it that are boring. Obviously, with reality TV, like, it doesn't need to be boring. But it's also just, like the backbone of why reality TV is so successful is because of the drama and drama has a negative connotation with it because it focuses on negative experiences that people have and also that people miscommunicate with one another and it's just yeah it just had me thinking of that sorry that was like a tangent and we're here to talk about what I eat in a day like a realistic what I eat in a day but I have like this much down of the popcorners but I also have to go and I need to go to the bank because I'm getting my hair done tomorrow but yeah I'm getting I'm getting my hair done tomorrow 
so I have to go back outside. And I'm kind of just thinking, like, something that I've been doing that's been helping me with ice cream is buying the little, like, one serving thing of ice cream. Ben and Jerry's has this flavor. It's like the peanut butter cookies and cream one. And I like it. It's good, but it's also dairy free. And it's the only small dairy free. It's not a pint, but it's like a quarter size or whatever. Um, but it's really good. I think it's like two ounces. It's really, really good. And I'm just like, if I go there, I can just like take the money out that way too. So we'll see. I think I might do that, but I'll show you. And yeah, I really. I don't really have any other plans, but apparently, like, I'm not hungry, but I'm also not full. I'm just, like, content. That's the word. I'm just content. All right, so finishing the fifth episode of Loki was a major cliffhanger. I also only have, like, a handful of popcorners left, but I'm, like, full. Um... It's not like on the verge of fullness. It's like a little bit past that. Does that make any sense to anybody? But anyways, I am gonna go. Oh, I have so much dishes to do. Making the beignets. I mean, it's not a lot. It's just like a big bowl, two baking trays and a rolling pin and a plate. So maybe it is a lot. But anyways, I... I think I'm gonna end the video here because I'm honestly not hungry anymore. I need to drink more water because I have not had a lot of water today. Like, I've had a few sips of this bottle to be quite honest with you and I need to drink a lot more water. So I'm gonna fill this up and try to down it before the end of the night. But that is where I'm ending this realistic what I eat in a day today. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I know it's short, sweet, quick, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of a realistic what I eat in a day when I'm going out to get brunch with some friends at their house. <laughs> so not really like going out to a restaurant, but I still went out. I left my house and I went to someone else's house and I had brunch. So there's that. Is there ants? No, that's just how the wood looks. <laughs> I'm like really distracted today. I have no idea why. But anyways, thank you so much if you made it to the end of this video. I really, really do appreciate all the love and support that I'm getting on here. And yeah, if you haven't done so already, please give this video a thumbs up. If you like any portion of this video, subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all the things that I am doing. And comment down below, say hi, I say hi back. And don't forget to stay kind, stay true, and stay laughing. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.